Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from one of the balconies of the Mole Hole in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series! In the previous episode, we were finishing off the giant ball of lava at last after 150 episodes. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's because you didn't watch the previous episode. And dang, am I angry with your ass! Go back and watch the previous episode before I get crazy angry and stick something up your butthole. <laughs> but guys, in this episode, we are going to be starting to survey the territory and the landscape for Mole City, man. That's right. We're going to go and have a look at this giant chunk of land over here and try and figure out exactly how we're going to make a city inside this huge ass area. And not only that, how in the name of all that is holy are we going to clear out all of this freaking vegetation? to make way for that city. But guys, before we do that, we got to deal with a bit of an OCD problem that we got going on over here, guys. A lot of you guys told me in the previous video that your OCD is kicking in big time and you just cannot stand this netherrack over here as we come up to the dogolith. Guys, I got to agree, but I've got really bad news for you, man. Look what happens when we deal with this problem. Look at that! Mojang has still not fixed the slabbed shading problem. So we have this horrible, horrible, horrible shading issue that we've got going on over here. Thank you, Mojang, you freaking buttholes, making the molehole look absolutely awful. I freaking hate you. Um, you know, even adding torches here doesn't do anything, man. This is like a giant void of, of light. Look at it, man. Oh, God, it's just it's just awful. It is better than netherrack, though. So uh, for now, we're going to keep it until Mojang comes up with a freaking way to solve this shading problem of slabbage. But, man, this makes me so angry. Oh, my goodness, I'm raging out of here, man. Oh, God, i got to calm down. Oh, God. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm, guys. I mean, nothing can, nothing calms me down more than uh, visiting the butthole and going to town on some of uh, some of the, you know, the digestive problems the butthole may be experiencing. So, uh, take it to the bellies and to the freaking creeper bits, all you bastards. Give me your balls. Give me your teeth. No. Oh my goodness. Ooh, damn. All right, guys. Level ten, baby. Oh man, we are slowly but surely um, collecting XP balls out of the butthole. And um, we're getting closer and closer to enchanting a new pickaxe with our Fortune 2 book that we found um, in a chest. And uh, I did ask the question in the previous episode, guys. Where should we put the enchantment? Should we put it onto Terra? Should we put it onto a diamond um, pickaxe? Should we put it onto a... Um, onto an iron pickaxe and the, the, the consensus across the board I think or, or the majority answer was put it on an iron pickaxe and get an unbreaking enchant for the iron pickaxe so that is what we're going to be trying to do guys we're going to be adding a new weapon into our inventory it is going to be a fortune 2 unbreaking hopefully 4 <laughs> iron pickaxe and we're gonna to have to find a name for it and we're gonna take that iron pickaxe with us um, on our adventures um, and we're only going to be using that pickaxe to, to harvest um, coal redstone diamonds emeralds and uh, lapis and lapis yeah that's it um, I think they might they, they might be something else that we'll need to harvest with that but we're just going to be using that to double up on all of our resources basically and um, Man, it is going to be sweet. I cannot wait to get that going, man. Um, but right now, I just want to i want to stock up on some tools because um, we are, you know, we're going to be doing some excavating now, man. And damn, are we going to need a lot of tools. Now, I thought about using um, diamonds to do this. I might just, you know, m make, I mean, we'll see how quickly we go through these shovels. But um, if we fly through these shovels like nobody's business, then I will think about using um, a, a diamond tools for this task. But for now, for this, the purposes of clearing out the landscape to make the mole, to make Mole City, we're just going to be using iron tools, I think, um, because you know we don't want to waste our diamonds on this man. It is going to take a freaking ridiculous amount of um, excavation to get this done. So uh, let's put down some of our refined loots. Oh, and I got, I've got paper, guys. And the reason that I've got paper is because you guys gave me such amazing freaking hints and tips in the previous episode. My goodness, man. You guys have been, oh man, you guys have been so epic the last few episodes. I'm just loving you guys, man. You're giving me so many awesome hints and tips. So what you guys said um, in the previous episode is that with a map, we can actually make the area of the map bigger by surrounding the map with paper. So we're actually increasing the map. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, let's have a look what this looks like, man. Let's go straight into the middle of the life tree. 
and uh, we should be seeing a much bigger area now. And I do believe you can carry on doing this. Um, oh my goodness, how awesome is that, guys? That is so sweet. Now, I don't know if you can actually zoom in or not. Um, you might be able to, but there's the Nether Portal Temple, baby. Look at that, looking epic. And um, I think we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make another map for, um, I wanna make another map for Mole City, right? So I wanna, we need a compass for this. Cause I want to, I wanna see the landscape of exactly where Mole City is gonna be going. Um, and I think maybe using a map is really going to help us because we'll be able to say, okay, in the west of the city, this is where we're going to make the, the Colosseum or whatever. Um, there we go. There is another compass. Um, you know, in, and it's also going to give us a, a, a very general idea where... No, no, you sit down. You are not coming anywhere. Um, it's going to give us a very good idea exactly where to build Granny Dog's monument also um, because we'll be able to easily see where the middle of... The whole thing is so i'm going to be taking along a blank map with me and uh once we get into let's put this paper down where it belongs and let's do this guys let us head out into well i guess this is like the very beginning this is like the first surveillance of mole city man this is this is crazy we are now going into the wilderness basically i mean imagine us going into the freaking amazon jungle with the intention of building a city and um this is us deciding okay um <laughs> you know we need to get rid of some of this jazz but hang on I'm, what am i doing man i need to i need to get some markers or something um man i'm the worst surveyor slash architect ever you know heading out there i've got all my tools but how the hell am i gonna gonna mark anything man how, how the hell am i gonna know exactly what the freak is going on up in here man all right so let's let's head over to the raw materials storage room and get us a whole bunch of cobblestone um, let's drop off this, these, this slabbage also. So now we've got a whole bunch of cobblestone. This is going to give us, this should give us enough cobblestone to leave some markings. Just for the sake of OCD, let's take four cobblestones to complete that row. Um, and let's get out there, man. This is, oh man, this is awesome. Uh, you know, Mall City is, has literally just been like a vision, uh, an idea, you know, a dream. <laughs> and we are now actually at the point of making this thing man and it is going to be freaking sweet i mean it's by going to be by far the biggest thing we've ever built i don't think i'm going to be able to do the whole thing um in a row because probably you know that'd probably take 50 episodes but we'll definitely get at least the um the foundations done um i mean what i want to do is try and mark out the actual size of this you know this city and um my feeling is that Granny Dog's Monument is probably going to sit somewhere, somewhere around here. Yeah, it's probably going to sit like over here, right? So that it's in parallel with, um, with the mole hole. And what we'll have is like a giant road running straight to the mole hole, right? So if you can imagine all of this foliage gone and what we'll have is a really big center road surrounded by like giant light posts or monuments or pillars or something epic like that going all the way to the mole hole and then in the middle here will be uh, uh, uh the the it's going to be like a giant circle right so think of like a traffic circle mm. and in the middle will be granny dog's monument and, and it will be like the center of mole city right and it's, gonna, it's probably going to sit somewhere around here i think now what we need to work out and look what we've just discovered guys we have discovered a freaking cave oh my goodness is this an unexplored cave Okay, it actually doesn't go anywhere, but this is kind of cool, man. Maybe we could, you know, maybe this could be under Mole City. Maybe that could be something. I don't know, like a like a secret storage room or something. Who knows? Um, but right, so let's have a look, man. Here we are. This is basically, it looks like this is going to be the center, the very, very epicenter of Mole City. Maybe what we should do is try and actually um, get, try and figure out the, the exact center of Mole City, right? Because... And here's another little cave. Let's just have a have a quick squiz down here. Okay, there's nothing down here. Um, so these are going to be the borders of Mole City, right? The the railway lines are actually going to border Mole City. Yeah, I know, guys. It's going to be freaking huge. <laughs> I do realize. I realize that, man. And I think maybe this is a really good place to start. Maybe um, this should be the boundaries of Mole City over here. Like the the Lakeside Villa should be the boundaries. Um, this lake here should be the boundary. So maybe what we need to do is start laying down some boundary markers in this direction. And uh, I mean, 
I mean, it's probably going to be easier to map out ex the exact size of this area using this side of the of the Great Railway Line. And you'll see what I mean, right? Because this is also, this is the this is the other boundary of Mole City, right? The, the railway line is the boundary of Mole City. So why don't we try and work out, ex like try to work out, not exact center, but, but as close to center as possible. Um, and I think what we're going to need to do is do some clearing out of some foliage up in here. And um, once that is done, oh man, is that, that, is, that is awesome. We took this tree down. What we can do is actually just dig um, a line, like a foundation line like this, right? All the way back to the mole hole. And then we can try and map the line. Um, what we'll do is like leave a marker every, say, 10 blocks or so. And then that way we can we can kind of figure out via the markers where the um, where the the, the, the middle is ish middle ish is <laughs> of Mole City and basically that's where the Granny Dog Monument is going to start and then maybe what we could do is we could work from the Granny Dog out so we could build the traffic circle right the the the, the, the Granny Dog Monument um, promenade or whatever it's going to you know whatever you call it. And then that will give us, you know, a basic idea of where the rest of the city could go. Maybe we could build the highways out um, away from the monument. You know, the, the, there's going to be four main roads, right? And um, that'll give us a really good idea of exactly where everything in the city is going to sit, man. And wow, oh man, I've been, I've, you guys are giving me such amazing ideas to build in the city. Anything from banks to freaking bakeries to hospitals to schools to hotels. Oh man, it has been so epic. Oh man, guys, this is going to be so awesome. So this is the border of Mole City right here, guys. So what I'm going to do is um, start leaving some waypoint, some markers here, right? So this is what a marker is going to look like. And I think what we'll do is every um, every tenth block we'll do this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like this, right? And um, I'm going to carry on doing this all the way back to where we were and I'll bring you back on the other side of this Kaplam guys and we can try work out where the freaking middle of this place is. Um, Kaplam! <laughs> Almost forgot the Kaplam there. Kaplam! Alright cyber dogs, I've brought you back and I've laid down all of the markers and can you believe it, um, it's actually gone perfectly to this boundary right here man. 10 blocks in between each of the pillars has ended up perfectly at this boundary which is really freaking sweet. And this zombie is getting on my bottle, man. Hey, dude, you want to rumble, man? I'm going to kill you with a spade. That's how much That's how much I hate you. I'm going to kill you with a spade, man. I'm not even going to give you an honorable death, you freaking bastard. <laughs> All right, guys. So how many uh, markers do we have? One, two, three, four. Oh, God. Well, this is quite a good way to get some experience, too. Um, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness, this is this has actually worked out really well. So we've got ten markers in this direction. So basically, in between, um, so basically, marker number five, right, is going to be the exact middle of this um, line, this horizontal line of the the city boundary. So one, two, three four five right so this one over here because there's going to be four markers on this side and four markers on this side oh my goodness this is so awesome it's working out so brilliantly okay so now what we need to do is head in this direction right um oh my oh my goodness rambo Ooh, you like that eh? you took it to the face you bastard give me your balls <laughs> oh my goodness man this is this, this place is infested this is not a good place to be working at night man seriously Take out these bastards. But you know, I mean, um, architecture is a dangerous job, people. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Make sure to wear your, your freaking hard hats when you're doing it too, man. Um, all right, so now what we need to do is dig all the way through this side. So I guess this is the, I, I mean, the horizontal. And this is the vertical. I don't know. Well, they both, no. <laughs> what am I talking about? They're both um, horizontal. <laughs> Um, but the, oh, and the moon is setting. I don't know. I, I don't even know what to call these lines. Th these are just surveillance lines. Um, let's just go with that. <laughs> um, okay. So it looks like there is a giant ass mountain in the middle of, um, 
of Mole City that we're going to have to deal with at some point. Um, either through excavation or maybe, I don't know, maybe using it to, I don't know, turning it into a park or something like that. But what we need to do is try and get all the way to, um, you know, this end of it. Because that way we can find the, basically the center um, of where we want to build more city, man. Man, this is so awesome. I thought it was actually going to be much more difficult to do this. Um, but I think we're going to be okay. Um, the problem comes in when you have all this foliage like this getting in the way. Um, you know, this is some pretty pretty ma major foliage going on up in here, man. Damn. Check at this. Okay, let's carry on going. We've got to be almost at the end now. And, and the end being the lake of the lakeside villa. Let's try go up again. Alright, one spade down. Oh man, this this foliage is going to be crazy to clear, man. But damn, are we going to get a lot of wood? Um, I I think I remember saying in <laughs> in episode one that we were going to try and preserve the environment, but um, I don't think that's going to happen, guys. <laughs> I think that the uh, the environment is going to take a big hit for the construction of Mole City, man. But it's you know it's survival of the fittest, man. And exactly the same concept applies in Minecraft, guys. It is this is survival of the fittest. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's try get some bearings. Where are we? Um, there is the lakeside villa. Okay, there is the lakeside villa. That means that the boundaries... Let's just lay some torches up in here. The boundaries should be around about here. So let's say that this this line is the boundary over here. Let's try get back to our, um, our tunnel. So right over here will be the marker for this boundary. Right? <laughs> So that's the marker for that for this boundary. Now what we need to do is is put markers in exactly the same way as we did um, on this line in this direction. So once I've done that, guys, I will see you on the other side of this kaplam. Kaplam. All right, guys, we are back, and I have laid down the markers going in uh, that direction, <laughs> and man, it has been freaking sweet. I can't believe how actually symmetrical this whole thing has turned out. It is so freaking lucky, man. It's like Granny Dog is watching our every move and, and changing the freaking blocks of this Minecraft world, man. Thank you, Granny Dog. Um, right, so let's count how many markers we've got here. This, it's basically also ended up being perfect. Um, the number of spaces in between the markers are almost um, exactly the same in both directions, being 10 blocks apart or being nine blocks apart, I think. So how many markers have we got? One two, three, four, and then there should be one down here, five, six, now it gets really dense, man, this is where the, the jungle gets really dense, seven, eight, so we've got eight in this direction. I mean, what we could do is extend it even further so that we've got ten. I may have miscounted there, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then Mole City is a perfect square. Well, not perfect, but as close to perfect as it can get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Lord! Take it to the spider butthole! <laughs> Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the tenth right over here. And what did that spider drop over there? That was kind of weird. Do you guys see that? Let's just get the tenth in here. What is that? What are, what are those? Are those shrooms? Oh, okay, those are shrooms. Man, I was like, damn, what is that weird texture? Okay, so let's have a look, guys. I think that that is ten. One two, three, four, five, six, keep counting with me guys, I might freaking lose my count, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh man that is epic, okay so the fifth counter from here, one, two, three, four. Uh, oh God, man, I keep I keep losing count. One, two, three, 
four. So the one after this one is smack bang in the middle of Mull City and exactly here. This is the one. This is the one. This is smack bang in the middle of Mull City and exactly where Granny Dog's monument is going to be, man. Let's go all the way up. Well, not not all the way up. <laughs> oh, we didn't, oh, man, we didn't bring any water or we'd be able to come down. But look at this. This is actually, this is basically perfect. Um, Granny Dog's monument is going to be pretty much in line with the mole hole over here. I mean, the middle of the mole hole, right? The middle of the whole mole hole um, thing, castle thingy. And um, down here is going to be the a, a, a giant traffic circle. I mean, it's not a traffic circle, but it, you know, it's like a, a circle in the middle, like an island in the middle of the roads, right? And Granny Dog's Monument is going to be right where I'm standing here. And then all around us, a city is slowly going to pop up, man. And it is going to be freaking epic, people. Oh, my God. And uh, now's a good time to actually look at our new map also. Um, so let's, let's uh, open our brand new map. This is going to be the map of um mall city basically Kaplam! let's have a look what we're working with here man can we actually see everything what that's weird okay so i thought that um we would be in the middle of the map but it clearly not that's kind of weird um so i'm gonna have to expand this map but you can clearly see there guys the boundaries of mall city um very clearly outlined there by the great railway line and where i'm standing right now you can actually see that it, it is pretty much bang in the middle of the square and uh, that is so freaking epic man i'm so freaking happy that that happened i honestly thought that we were going to be doing this for like two or three episodes trying to get this right but we've managed to get it done in 20 minutes and man i am super stoked about that and uh, this is exactly where granny dog's monument is going to be and um what we're probably going to do in the next episode is, is start excavating around this exact center point to kind of get an idea of how high the road needs to be. I think that it's probably going to be as high as um, this road over here. So um, if there's any ca uh, caves or spaces underneath, we're going to have to do something with them, turn them into underground, um, you know, storage units or, or ancient um, living quarters or something like that man it's gonna be freaking sweet guys but i tell you what man i'm gonna end the episode here we have successfully mapped exactly where granny dog's monument is gonna be and i'm freaking standing on it guys if you enjoyed this episode man you know what to do you smack that freaking like button and if you haven't subscribed yet you better subscribe because we are about to build a city man <laughs> i mean how awesome is that who wouldn't want to watch this guy over here with a red shirt and a freaking pickaxe in his hand build a city um, I know that I would subscribe. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft. I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.